Hi there, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to talk about adrenals and what to do if you're feeling like your adrenals are not functioning the way that they should. You've had some adrenal fatigue, some symptoms of adrenal fatigue. You're exhausted. You cannot get enough rest. You don't even feel rested after sleeping. Even if you feel like you, yeah, I slept well, but oh, I'm still so tired. Um, adrenal fatigue can also make you feel like you don't have the energy to even get through the day. Like physically have the energy. It can be tougher to work out. It can take you a really long time to recover from a workout. And then of course, there is the really fun um, weight gain that you cannot get rid of no matter what you do. So a few tips when you're dealing with your adrenals, um, just to kind of make you more aware of how different this is to deal with. Most people don't understand how tough it is when you have an adrenal issue and how long it can take. So just to give you a realistic expectation for your body, you need to give yourself a lot of rest. It can take anywhere from 12 to 18 months to really have your adrenals feel like they're getting better and to actually get better. Um, it's a really tough process and it's hard to tell. The only way that your adrenals are gonna start to do better is if you, you're taking care of yourself and you're getting enough rest. If you're allowing yourself to get really stressed out, if you're you know getting sick, getting injured or whatnot, continuing to be in stressful situations, your adrenals are not gonna really start healing or it's gonna take longer than this time frame. This is a normal time frame, right? A norm, normal time frame. Um, so just to give yourself that expectation, and don't expect too much out of your body. Meaning if you have a goal, a health goal, a weight loss goal, a fitness goal of some kind, take that into account. If your adrenals aren't functioning properly, I, you know, don't worry about pushing your body because it's not going to perform like it would normally when it doesn't have an adrenal issue. So just some things to kind of keep in mind as you're, you know, planning your goals and everything through the rest of the year and into next year. Another factor that's huge for your adrenals is to make sure you're getting enough protein. This is an everyday consistent amount of protein. You need to have this nutrient available in your body and your system just for the energy. Your body needs more of it because it's not functioning the way that it normally would. So having that protein is essential. And then lastly, vitamins and minerals. It's almost essential to flood your body with excess vitamins and minerals because your body needs it. It needs this like, you know, like I think of a fire hose of nutrients all the time so your body can repair itself as quickly as possible. Again, with an adrenal issue, there's this, it's like, you know, it's like trying to drive a car through, you know, molasses or something. You're not going to go very fast and you're not going to make it very far. So you're going to need to do as much as you can to rest get enough of that nutrient in, and then those vitamins and minerals are essential for cell turnover rate, for recovery, and just to have things heal a lot faster. So if you're wanting to be on the shorter end of this healing time, rest protein and vitamins and minerals are gonna help that happen. So if you have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and let me know what your questions are around this topic. Um, these are some basic things. There are other things you can do. A lot of times people will look at adding like, oh, what's the one supplement I can take to add in? You know, there's a lot of supplements that can help with adrenals or that can help with inflammation or things like that. When you're looking at an issue like this, one supplement, it's like a drop in the bucket. It's not going to be the end all be all for you. It's really following the right protocol consistently every day. And then every day, every week, every month, you'll notice I'm feeling a little bit better. Yeah, this is getting better. And it will take this time frame. then while all of a sudden you're like, I I'm feeling like I'm back to my normal self. So hopefully that's helpful. Let me know if you have questions and I'll see you guys later.